Hello everybody, um, welcome back to another video, and today is a great day because now, um, Roblox, uh, that patch that was submitted to Wine, um, a couple of weeks ago I think, has now been officially, um, been put into Wine version 6.11, I know it's in this one, it may have been on earlier versions, I know that on 6.11 and above, you're gonna have a patch that allows Roblox to work on Linux. So, this is a big day because Roblox has not worked on Linux for a very long time, and now it does. And today I'm going to show you how to do uh, get Roblox working on Arch Linux and its derivatives that include Manjaro, Arnix, um, Oberon, all of those. And so, what you're going to want is a package called Juice uh, Grape Juice. And basically what Grape Juice is, it's a, uh, basically a launcher, something similar to like, I guess Steam, but all it does is launch Roblox, Roblox Studio, um, all of those things. Basically acting as a front end for it and allowing it to integrate well into a Linux environment. And I highly recommend you to have it. Um, it's just in the AUR, all you have to do is whatever AUR helper you like and then grape fruit get I, I I prefer pick a U R. I recommend it but I won't I won't get too much into that and so what you will have now if I show you my menu entries if I look up Roblox you will have three new menu options you'll have the Roblox app which will allow you to play games Roblox studio which will allow you to create uh, I guess they're called experiences now I've always been calling them places. Um, I'll kind of probably use it hand in hand. And so Grape, Grape Juice is the official app. And so this is where you'll do your configuration. And I believe there are both links to the app in the studio inside of Grape Juice. We'll start by opening Grape Juice real quick. Um, so here it is. And so here we have a launcher for Roblox Studio. And... One thing to note is that before launching Roblox Studio, you want to go here and sign in first. Otherwise, it won't work. And then you'll be able to use Roblox Studio. And so, um, when you start out with Grape Juice, you're going to want to install Roblox here. You're going to want to click on it. I've already done it. So, um, basically, it'll just download the uh, Roblox installer. And you've probably seen that before. It's the white box with the progress bar that's exactly what that's going to do and here you can kind of manage wine um i didn't need to do anything in here to make it work so you should be fine uh once you have roblox installed from grape juice um you'll obviously have these apps here and so We'll show you Roblox app real quick. And so basically what they've done is they've taken the beta version of the Roblox desktop app launcher and put it into this so you don't have to um, launch the games through the web browser, which is what you traditionally do. And so it's just handy to have this desktop app. So I'll kind of blank out this part. So I'll sign in real quick to show you. One thing that I notice is that um, you don't ever stay signed in, and there's no way to stay signed in for some reason. I think that has something to do with the Roblox desktop app being a beta. They just haven't implemented that yet. So I would wait for that to come up. It's not a feature right now, but I'm sure it will be in the future. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the... Roblox desktop app and so you've got the basic functionality of the Roblox website inside of this app so you can go to settings you you can uh, chat with other players um, look for games there's no catalog I believe it's called the avatar shop now or something I, I'm not new with the new Roblox terms they should just keep them the same but you can check your Robux your notifications up here in the top right corner and it's basically a very familiar um, Roblox experience. You're not really going to notice any big differences. 
Um, when you click on a game, it's very similar to the mobile app. So it kind of pops up a little panel in the middle where you can view the uh, wherever place you want to go to its information and you can click play at the bottom and you can play with friends. I believe that's that button and you can get more options there. Um, I'm going to go and show you some gameplay by clicking this play button. So as you can see here, we're going right into this game. Um, I'm not concerned about playing this game real quick. I want to show you guys some uh, different things to notice about this. So, of course, this runs okay for me. It runs pretty much as you'd expect with Windows. Um... But one thing I would recommend you to do, if you've got one computer that's not quite as powerful, is to go to settings. And then set the graph, turn off graphics quality audio, auto, excuse me, and then set the graphics quality pretty low. That's what I would recommend. And I would recommend you setting the camera mode to follow as of the date which is 6 24 21 the reason being is because of the state of how roblox is right now if i were to right because normally in order to look around you would have to right click on the screen and then sort of drag but if i try to do that i might look around but my mouse gets locked like I can't move my mouse right now and to solve this problem I can switch to another workspace and as I can see I can move my mouse and I have to move my mouse somewhere where the window is not going to be so like the window is somewhere right here so if I just even click right here to go back to my gaming workspace I've got my mouse back that's how I would that's how I'd recommend you to do it um and Basically, that's why I wanted you to select, set your camera mode to follow, because if you were to move from left to right outside of follow mode, it would simply not move the camera at all, and you wouldn't be able to move the camera. So if I kind of move around a bit, it's a bit laggy since I'm recording and trying to play the game at the same time, and everything around me is falling on top of me right now. But as you can see, the camera does move when I move around with follow mode on but I'll show you if I turn off follow mode if I go to the default and if I move around the camera orientation will stay the same as I move around. So I'm moving to the right and normally in follow mode I would turn to the my camera would also follow me, it would start turning. I guess to the left to kind of follow me. But that's not how that works. So at least not outside of follow mode. So anyways that's what I would recommend that you do. not like me recording and trying to play at the same time but um excuse me for the lag i am trying my best so i'll be setting my camera mode back to follow So as I move to the right, I literally the camera 
will follow me. Which is the point I want to make. Another way you can look around, so this would be frustrating if you try playing with a keyboard and mouse. On a laptop, you might be more sane. But, um... Another way you can look around is with the arrow keys. Right now I'm moving with WASD, but if I use right, I'm pressing right, that rotates. I go left, that rotates the left. So you can kind of use this to move your character as well. Up makes it go forward, up makes it go down makes it go backwards. But in the state that it's in, Roblox right now in Linux, it's impossible to look up. Like, I don't think it's really even possible unless, like, you can sacrifice a little bit of time being able to get your mouse out of its lock position after you kind of look up or down with the right drag style of doing things. So right now I'm going to leave. Yeah, I guess they call them experiences now, but um... Anything else I'll show you? Um... I can show you Roblox Studio. I haven't actually tried it yet, so I guess this will be the a new experience for me as well. I was able to log in before the pa patch, but I was not able to launch it. That's what I remember. So I assume since Roblox alone is working, that Roblox Studio should work as well. As you can see, now we're on the splash screen here. So now I have to sign in. As you can see, it is working exactly how expected. Um, check out one of my games. See if I can edit it. Um, we'll try editing Free Block City. So yeah, it works. It has been a long time since I have been in Roblox Studio, but I will definitely be taking some time here now that I'm able to use this on Linux. See, we've got our Explorer here. We can check out all of our item modules. Check all this stuff. I haven't really done too much stuff here. I wanted to make this game pretty cool, but you know, that didn't happen. I can, I guess I can try and move her. I don't remember the controls here. Maybe I do. It's muscle memory. Hmm. Oh, oops. I'm still in the Explorer. Maybe if I clicked. Yep, there we go. And I'm wondering if I right click and drag. Okay, if I right click and drag in Roblox Studio, that doesn't cause my mouse to be locked up, which is a good thing. It's a bit laggy, but on more on more powerful computers, this will be running just fine. But yeah, here you go. It works. Everything works. It's planned, I believe. Yeah, it's great that we're in a state where we can finally run our favorite things inside of a free and open source operating system. Now, of course, Roblox is proprietary, but it's also my childhood, so I can make an exemption. So... Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. Please discard the changes. And I hope that helps you out. Um, yeah, it's good to hear these news. This news. So, I'll see you guys.